Mr. Motivator. Yes, he's in the house. How exciting. Causing trouble as usual. How are you? I, you know, I feel so good. I mean, it's uh, it's great to be here. It was fun doing the filming, and uh, uh, it's one of those things that you don't get the opportunity to do very often. But when you do, hey, it turned out really well. For yeah, me. no, I've seen it. It's, it is a really fun. Oh, film. really? I haven't seen it. You're I haven't been privy to it. Jamaica, though, to be in this film. That's the kind of man I am. You know, we're just preparing for the uh, world premiere of the Magic Pills of Petswood. Any more? Yeah. My memorabilia, any more? All right. I'll give you tours under the Just down here. The people that have booked through the box office in first, so everybody know, we all know where they're sitting, and then all it looks free around, you can, so you won't, you'll be together. I'm actually setting this all out, these programs out, for people to walk in and uh, grab a program and read what it's all about. A little synopsis in the back of it. Hi, so you play Rosie in the film. That's right. You, and what can you tell me about the part? Was it fun to play? She was great to play. Um, she was the ultimate cougar. That's the only way I can describe her. Um, but no, she was absolute great fun to play. An absolute bitch. Uh, an Always old, fun out of date bitch. sex symbol. But she was brilliant. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> so you're Gary, and you play Rupert Kane in the film. Uh, no, he's basically a nervous sort of character, and um, he's got a companion which is Sebastian, and he helps him doing the filming and that as well. And um, Basically, we just uh, film the uh, gym scenes, uh, we film the cookery sort of scene, uh, Slim with Steve, mm -hmm. and um, as you see during the course of the film, everything doesn't go according to plan. No, it doesn't go particularly smoothly. <laughs> oh, Richard! <laughs> you got your popcorn, <laughs> you got your popcorn. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all right, yeah. No, you haven't done it, So you play Mackie in the film. Can you tell me a little bit about your character? Yes, he's a 60-year-old guy has been around the track a few times and um, met Steve and Will Hayne and we clicked. I love Steve to pieces, I'll do anything. Well it was only a small part um, and I was grateful for Steve for asking me to come along and do it but um, it was a good day of filming, it was good fun and um, I'm looking forward to seeing the finished article. I was there when Mr Motivator was there. Hello sir, very nice to see you. So it's nice to meet you, Marion. You played the uh, nurse, nurse yes, Plenty. Nurse Plenty in the film. Yeah, very fun character to play. She's um, yeah, full of fun and she wants to help everybody. She works in the private hospital in Petswood. Yes, for the rich and famous. Only for the rich and famous. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll have to excuse me because I was feeling a little hoarse earlier on. <laughs> See, I laughed at that. <laughs> Yes, well he's based on a real life character who used to run bare chested through Pets Wood. Oh, I love the gym, man. James the cameraman wrote it. It's the only line he did, and it was sat about a man, a man in woman's tights. I don't know. But he insisted in leaving it. Yeah, And then we done it, obviously, there's a lot of the film I haven't seen yet. This is my first full showing. Um, really looking forward to it. Been, um, it's the highlight of my year so far. It's only February. <laughs> January. No, right, okay, so you're assistant director and you appeared in the film. Did you prefer yeah. directing or acting? Oh, I did a really small acting role, so I definitely <laughs> prefer the directing part. Of course, yeah. the acting part. He <laughs> He's driven around the block ten times. <laughs> so, you did the special effects on the film. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, well, I've done the expo uh, an explosion, there's a window that uh, exploded outwards. Oh, the X-ray room. X-ray room, X-ray room. Wow, that was a special effect. I, wa yeah. I did wonder how that was done. <laughs> yeah, brilliant fun. Yeah, I was in the se scene with um, Stephen Slade, who plays Sebastian, and we had um, quite a laugh doing it. It was quite an <laughs> interesting scene. There is the other, he did all that for us. And uh, so, screen one through us, the box office, screen two. So we're going to get sit down, we've got to wait till 2 in case anybody's running late. Oh, I loved it, but I was a bit yucky about seeing myself on the big screen. Seeing yourself, yeah, you Absolutely can. brilliant, mate. Yeah, really good. Did you like it? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Particularly well edited, I must say. Yeah, I love that. So, what do you think? Oh, it was it? absolutely amazing. It was really good fun. And you know what? I didn't know what the full story was. So, for me, it was like, you know, just seeing 
fresh brand new, new film. film. Yeah, it was really fantastic. Really, really enjoyed it. Really laughed out loud. Yeah, I mean, I think it could be tightened up. I think it could yeah. be tightened up. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. the editing was, the editing was good. I, I think it just needs well, tightening up. Enough, yeah. enough there to tighten up. Yeah, I think, I think it should. I think it should aim to actually just probably just condense it yeah. down a little yeah. bit. Look at me, I'm still on the DVDs How as much well. are they? They're £10. Yeah, if you want someone to come up here, ready? One, two, three. It's very funny, uh, very well put together. Editing was perfect. Oh. And I <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I'm sure the taste of copies as well. Hilarious, mate, you're funny. Check it out. Have you all bought a DVD? <laughs> I couldn't watch it. I had to come out uh, because I just, I've said all along, Bobby being a degree, uh, be understudy, but he knows more about uh, the, the, the job than I do. But if it weren't funny, it weren't going to work. So I weren't worried about how good the camera work was. And I couldn't bear it. It was honestly like for me, uh, when Wend was giving birth and I was pacing up and down outside the maternity unit. So I just stayed in here and I thought I'm either going to get a lynch mob or uh, a, a, a mob that I ended up with um, but I don't know where I'll go from here I, it was a laugh uh, I've written several uh, stories to follow on from here and we've done a bit of filming with Vestlife already um, but I don't know you know it's I think life as you get older you're not wanted and I ain't just saying it as, and that's what I wanted to do was do say it of a 56 year old showing we ain't had, we ain't finished you know what I mean <laughs> Yeah, 55, yeah, yeah. I'll try to build it up a bit. A thou over a thousand pounds, about a thousand hundred quid for a reverse rent. And as I said all the long I know Louise won't know this, but I've said and her dad will I've told her dad this. She has inspired me to make this. Because when I felt, oh, I can't do this, it ain't funny, she has inspired me. Because I only had to think of her little face, look at her smiling there, and who wouldn't want to keep going for that, you know what I mean? So, Louise, thank you very much. So, thank you all very much for coming. If I make another one, I'm sure you'll get an email or a, a request to come and part with your hard-earned money to come and see it again and I really don't give a monkeys what anybody else thinks we were the cast were fantastic he's been brilliant uh, and Bobby's fantastic everybody's pulled their weight and done it for nothing you know done it for what I call charity rates so you should all be very proud of yourself like I am thank you very much